of South Africa. My name is Manon Hartman and I'm here to show you the Discoverer 4. Over here we can see the engine. As I said, 2.3 litre turbo diesel 16 valve, powerful engine. We always recommend that you check your oil and water um, every second day. When you arrive at your campsite, it's very simple. You take your electric board, plug it in, take your table and chairs, put them outside, and you are ready to relax. On the outside, we've got the air vent for the hot water geyser or the boiler. Over here is one of your two outside lockets. Your electrical cord will be kept in here, as well as your cross spanner, should you have to change your tire. There's also a jerry can in there to fill up your water tank with a funnel. And there are also two wheel blocks, which you can use in the event that your camper is not very level. You would just roll your, your tires on there and level yourself out. We also have the uh, electric box in there, the fuse box and the battery charger. So that's all stored outside here. This is your second outside locker. It's empty at the moment but don't be fooled. Your outside table and chairs will be stored inside this locker. Your camper has a chemical cassette toilet. When your cassette is full you need to empty it. All you need to do is pull your cassette out Always ask at the campsite where you can empty this. This is where you would fill up your diesel. It is on the passenger side. Your camper packing space is limited. You do have some cupboards available, but there's limited storage for your big suitcases. So what we suggest is that you use the suitcases that are soft. And once you've unpacked, you can squash those suitcases your forward facing seat, two gas bottles. One is connected, it's open. The other one is spare. In order to make this into your second double bed, it's a fairly simple procedure. It takes a few minutes every day. This forms the base of your bed. Now it will be like a little puzzle to get all your cushions inside. Your camper has a roof vent in the rear, it's a ventilator. You'll simply turn it to open and you switch it on. It works off the batteries of your camper. You can choose either to have the air come in or you can change the button and have the air sucked out like an extractor fan, especially when you're cooking or if it's extremely hot inside. Some people prefer to leave the back as a bed permanently which is also fine and it gives you a little bit of extra storage underneath the bed. Your aircon is something that you sometimes desperately need in South Africa. You have an 80 litre Engel fridge on board. You also have a hanging cupboard. Your camper comes equipped with all your kitchen needs. Your gas stove and the geyser in gas mode are the only two things that work off gas. The camper comes equipped with plates, bowls and mugs. We also provide pots, pans, stove, kettle as well as a teapot. South Africa is a beautiful and diverse country with lots to see and do. With your camper you can go to most of these places.